Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be a really chillaxed, laid back video. I'm doing a full face of makeup, but I'm only gonna be using black owned makeup brands. One of you guys suggested I do this video on Twitter, and I thought it was such a good idea, so I gathered all the makeup I have that are owned by amazing black women. And although I do have a full face of makeup today, I did buy so much more. So many of you guys were giving me really great suggestions. I had no idea what the lip bar was, I had never heard of that brand. There were a couple brands that you guys tweeted to me that I hadn't discovered before, so I did place an order, but I wanted to put this video up as soon soon as possible. So I'm just using products that I already owned that were already in my collection, but I can do another video in the future just like this, do a little haul, test out some products. I think it would be a fun video, but I really wanted to get this video out there mainly because I really wanted to donate all of the money from this video. So whatever I get from the views in this video, what is that word called? The revenue. <laughs> <laughs> All the revenue from this video will be donated to Black Lives Matter and I will be leaving that link in the description box in case you want to do the same or not do the same but in case you want to help. <laughs> it is so hot in this house. I don't think I have the AC on. One second. I had it at 79. <laughs> Wow. Anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna be doing my makeup with some of my favorite products from these brands and it's super exciting because I actually love these brands a lot. So I'm not using anything new at all. I've used these products multiple times on my channel and I'm not gonna be doing anything fancy. It's not gonna be like a full on tutorial or anything. <laughs> Are you new here? But I am gonna do like a nice bronzy, smoky eye, a nice, a nice little glam moment. Let's get glam. I feel like I haven't put on makeup in days. I actually pre-filmed two videos that are gonna go up after this one. I just really wanted this one to be first, but I did record um, another tutorial a few days ago and I also recorded my favorites video, my favorites video a few days ago. So that video will be up soon as well. Both of the videos will be up very soon. But yeah, without further ado, Let's begin. So the only product I didn't have was a primer, which is so bizarre because I can't find my Pat McGrath primer anyway. But I do have my Beauty Bakery baking oil. It's like a priming oil, and I have no idea where it is. Why do I lose all my stuff? Tell me why. I don't. I don't understand. But I'm just gonna spray this Fenty Beauty setting spray on my skin. It's kind of like a primer. I just need to add some moisture to my skin, and this has the best mist of life. Like, oh my god, look at this. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. God. The mist on this is truly heavenly. I love this. I love this setting spray. For foundation, I'm going to use the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. I really do like this foundation. It's an it's one of those matte foundations that actually look pretty good on dry skin. I did a whole foundation review on this. I will link it down below in case you're interested. But I'm in the shade 620 FES. Fest 620. And my favorite way to apply this foundation is definitely with a beauty blender or like a damp sponge just because it is such a full coverage like glam matte foundation. It looks really beautiful and really natural with a damp sponge. I love how flawless your skin looks with this foundation. It's so good. For concealer, I'm going in with the Beauty Bakery Insta Bake 3-in-1 Concealer. I love this concealer. It's really, really good. It reminds me a lot of the Tarte Shape Tape. It does pretty much everything that that one does, although I do think this one is a little bit more affordable, so that's even nicer. But it has full coverage. A little goes a long way, and I love how it looks. I also think if you have very oily skin, you would like the Beauty Bakery foundation as well. I hear so many oily skin girls rave about it. I definitely prefer their concealer. It's a little bit better for us with dry skin, but if you mix in their foundation with like an oil or their priming oil, you can get away with it if you're dry. Beauty Bakery is such a good brand to support. Like the owner has talked to me a couple times on Twitter. She's very sweet and her branding is exceptional. I love everything about the baking. Oh my God, her branding is to die for. I love Beauty Bakery so so much. For powder, I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. I love this so much. I know Pat McGrath is pricey, like that's expensive, but some of her formulas are so incredible. This is such a good under eye powder because it's so finely milled, it's silky. I know it's like bright white. She has three different options, but the way that it blends and the way that it sets your skin, it's the smoothest, most amazing powder. It really is an airbrush powder. Like your skin looks airbrushed when you use it. And it's so lightweight that even if you have really dry skin, you're not like adding a lot of powder to your skin. It's almost invisible. The only thing I will say is that I haven't tried taking like a picture with it, like in flash photography. I don't know if there's like a white cast, but I haven't worn it out at night, you know, Corona. So I don't go anywhere. <laughs> I didn't go anywhere before. <laughs> For bronzer, I'm taking one of my favorite bronzers in the whole world. This is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in the shade In The Sun. 
I love this one. The color of this bronzer is so good if you have very fair skin tones. The best thing about Fenty Beauty is I honestly feel like Rihanna set the tone for so many different makeup brands. Brands weren't really being that inclusive with their shade ranges in foundations, in bronzers, in anything really. And it wasn't until Fenty Beauty came out and gave us so many different options, so many different undertones. They really just like changed the game and inspired so many brands to do the same. And they have so many different bronzers from a very 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 light bronzers to a very very deep one and I really really love that I wish more brands would do that there is no reason for these giant brands these like multi-billion dollar brands there's no reason for them not to be inclusive like I don't understand I mean there's no reason for anyone not to be but you get me like sometimes it could be a lot harder for smaller brands but what is a big brand's excuse like I don't know I really hope to see a change in Cosmetics when it comes to like being inclusive, you know, these bronzers are so good though. I love the formula I love this color for blush. I'm gonna use this palette that I really really love I mainly love this because the highlight in this palette is Incredible, I would love it if beauty bakery would come out with this shade like in a single that would be fantabulous because I love it so much This is their scoops Elise's I, I always say this wrong It's their scoops blush palette and it comes with three different blush shades and a highlight and honestly I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do to my eyes. You know what? Maybe I should do my eyes first. You're right. You're right. You're right I'll see which blush matches more <laughs> so for my eyes Like I said, I'm gonna do something really simple I just want to do like a nice bronze smoky eye and I'm gonna be using a a mixture of three different palettes. I'm gonna use the Colored Rain Cheers to the Beauty eyeshadow palette and I didn't want to use this because it was limited edition but I love this palette so much. I actually love Colored Rain eyeshadows. If you're looking to support a black owned makeup brand that has Oh my gosh, my JD Glow! Guys, JD Glow Cosmetics is really freaking good and they are an indie black owned business and they have some of the most wicked, amazing formulas, like their eyeliners are incredible and their pressed single eyeshadows are incredible. Look at these glitters. These are Makeup Geek, but this is all JD Glow. Oh my gosh, so good. Maybe I'll use a little bit of this one after. Okay, so I'm gonna use a combination of different palettes. I'm gonna use my Colored Rain one, my Fenty Beauty Rock and Spice, because there's a couple eyeshadows I wanna use in this. And then I also wanna use my little Pat McGrath quad, because I wanna use this in my inner corners. But yeah, let's begin. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my Colored Rain palette, and I'm gonna use this shade as my crease color. Now I'm gonna go into the Moroccan Spice palette from Fenty Beauty and I'm gonna take this shade right here and do the same thing. Taking a little bit of vintage feels from my colored rain palette. I love this like burnt terracotta shade. I'm only gonna add this color in the outer corners. I'm not really gonna drag it into the crease. Going back into the Moroccan Spice palette, I'm gonna take this shade. I love this shade. It's like the prettiest bronze. I'm going to pack that on my lid. I love the undertone in this bronzy color. Mm, so good. Okay, now I'm gonna take this Pat McGrath quad. This is like the mothership. Oh my God, I'm embarrassing. I don't know my Roman numerals. I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry. But it's the MMX V. I, I. I'm gonna grab that one and I'm gonna take this really delicious bronze shade and use this in the outer corners just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of this deep brown color from the Moroccan Spice palette.
Okay, I'm gonna take the JD Glow Cosmetics Single Eyeshadow in the shade Unexpected. And I know it doesn't look anything like what I've got on my eyes, but I just want a little bit of this like right on top of this bronze. Oh my gosh, JD Glow Cosmetics is unreal, guys. Like their single shadows are unreal. You actually have to be careful with how aggressive you get because you will apply too much, which is insane. I'm barely touching this product and look at this. Dude, insane. I actually love how this color looks on top of that bronze. <gasps> I love that. Wow, that's good. That's really good. Okay, I'm gonna take that Pat McGrath quad and I'm gonna use this shade on, in my inner corners. It kind of has a very similar consistency, like the formula is similar. It's a really intense glitter. It just doesn't have like the reflect that this one does, but it's a really pretty like sparkly inner corner shade. I'm gonna take this Fenty Beauty Fly Pencil Longwear Pencil Eyeliner in the shade Purple Stuff. <laughs> and I'm gonna line my waterline. Add a little bit of this purple eyeliner to the outer corners just to elongate the eye just a little bit like ever so slightly and now I'm gonna go in with my mascara I'm gonna use one of my holy grail mascaras in the whole world. This is the Pat McGrath fetish eyes mascara It's the best <laughs> Okay, so the eyes are completely done. I love how the eyes turned out. I mean, it's like a simple smoky eye, but the shimmery eyeshadow that I put on top, oh my gosh, just ties everything together. I love it. I do have like some glitter fallout all over my face from the JD Glow Shimmer, but that's okay, that's okay. Okay, for blush, like I said, I'm going into my Scoopalices palette from Beauty Bakery. And I think I'm gonna go in with this blush. You know what, I'm gonna mix all of them. That's right, I'm gonna mix all of them. Even a little bit of that pink truffle shade. Just a little bit of that. The only thing I don't love about the blushes in this palette is that there is a lot of fallout, but on the flip side, I like that these blushes are not too pigmented and you could build them up easily. <laughs> and then for highlight, I'm gonna use this magical baby right here. Oh, no, we're good, we're good. I thought I stabbed it. I will say I prefer how this highlight looks on top of a dewy foundation. There's just something about the way that it just like melts in a more dewy foundation. It's just so beautiful. I mean, it looks really great on top of a matte foundation like this, but it's such a wet looking highlight that it looks better once you have like a more wet base, I guess. It's still great though. It's crazy because it still looks nice and juicy and wet even though it is such a matte foundation. That's how good this highlight is. I'm gonna take another little spritz of my Fenty Beauty setting spray, but I'm actually gonna be mixing my setting sprays. I'm gonna lay a lot of this one down. It's like a moisture situation. And then with my Beauty Bakery Sweet Grace baking spray, I'm gonna set my makeup even more because this one is really good at keeping your makeup on all freaking day. This is a super, super long wearing setting spray. So I like the combination of both. We are almost done, I just gotta do my lip. Of course, I'm gonna use a Pat McGrath lip liner. You guys know these are my favorite lip liners to ever exist. Seriously, best lip liners on the block. Fight me, I will fight someone who tells me otherwise. I'm gonna use the shade Supernatural today. Okay, so I added this really dark lip liner because I want to go in with a very light nude and I like the combination of the two of them. I'm going to take my Colored Rain liquid lipstick and lip gloss. It's really good. This is the Sugar Liquid Lipstick. Just going to apply that right on the... And then I'm going to blend it out with my fingers. Love it, love it. Such a good nude. And then on top of that, I'm going in with their Butter Love, adding a little bit of that and blending it in with my fingers as well. This is more of a lip cream than a lip gloss, but it's definitely not a liquid lipstick. Okay guys, so that completes this makeup look. I actually love how this look turned out. I thought it was gonna be like a super simple, I mean it's simple, but I thought I was gonna do like a quick everyday eye look and I ended up loving this look so much. I wanna put that eyeshadow on top of everything now. I've used these eyeshadows in the past, like I love this freaking green one. It's such 
such a good green, but I had never used this shade on top of a bronze since it's such a different type of shade. I never thought of putting the two together, but I love it. But anyway, I absolutely love all the brands I used in this video. I hope you check out these brands. They're so good. And I know that Fenty is huge and so is Pat McGrath, but JD Glow Cosmetics is actually like a really great indie brand that I don't hear anybody talk about that much. So you should definitely check them out. You should check out all of these brands because they're really great and it would just be so nice to show them some support. But that completes this video, guys. I love you so, so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Gosh, Wayne, Celine, get off! You're not a lap dog, Wayne.